Welcome back everybody to Boats vs. Hallover, where Man and Machine take on Mother Nature down at Hallover Inlet, Miami, Florida. But if you can't tell, we are not at Hallover today, we are actually visiting Boca. And it's a little bit of a rough day, it's going to be interesting to see how our captains fare as we roll through our competition. And let's get this one started. Our first contestant to do Battle with Boca today thought they were going to come out and have a nice relaxing day on the water. And of course you would think that. If you owned an HCB swing just like this crew, you would think no matter what, you're going to go out there and have a pretty easy day. And let's see how they handle it. This crew appears to be taking the slow roll approach and right there almost stuck the bow. This is probably not the best idea for this day. They probably should put the throttle down, get that bow up a little bit, and let this boat get on plane. But let's see if their plan pays off for them. They are in a pretty big vessel, so it's going to take something serious. To oh my gosh! <laughs> there it is! Boca annihilates this Sueños right up front. Man, coming in this slow, that bow is just down, and the wave just comes crashing into this vessel, giving them the free Boca deck rents. Now this crew will continue working out toward the bar section and see if they can finish getting themselves out of Boca Inlet, but the damage has been done, and unfortunately for them, the boats will obviously take a loss in this round. It's obviously a pretty rough day, but let's see if our second round contestant has any better luck than our first round contestant, but it doesn't look like it, because here in the second round, we're going to see what happens when Boca actually goes for the knockout. Here we're going to see our second round contestant start to make their way out of Boca Inlet. It's a rough day, and they are kind of making a key mistake right here. When it's a rough day, you always, as a captain, want to make sure everybody's sitting in a proper seat or standing up holding on to something that's steady, because if they're sitting on like a rail like we see here, things can go wrong, oh my, like they've just done, and people can slide off. Fortunately, she slid off into the boat, but unfortunately, she slid off into the tower, and she's going to feel that one for a few days. She's also likely going to feel the way she landed on the gunnel as well. This is a very rough start to a fishing trip, and I hate it for this crew, but she's standing up. She's trying to hold on here, but she's going to wind up going down for the count. She's in obvious pain, and I got to imagine this crew is not going to have any choice but to turn this one around and come back in. I mean, that is just a tough start. I absolutely feel horrible for her. I mean, this one right here, you just go out, you think you're going to have a great day on the water. We're going to go out of Boca, we're going to go have a little fun. And then all of a sudden, it just turns into something like this. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts on this situation are and how you would have done things differently as a captain. I mean, this is one of my actual annoyances as a captain is when it's really rough out and I get people who start trying to walk around my vessel. That one, I mean, because you just... When it's rough out, you're already trying to concentrate on the water, and you can't concentrate on what other people are doing in the vessel as well. But um, but actually, I still feel, I hate to say this, this one's captain's fault. Captain should not have let her be sitting there. He, It's your job as the captain to direct people where you want them to be, and unfortunately he failed, and unfortunately the boats are going to take a loss in this round. And the boats go down 2 nothing early, and let's see if our third round contestant hopefully can get the boats back in the game, and here we're going to see about as good as it gets. I mean, it's a rough day here at Boca. All the boats are struggling. This Intrepid's coming out of the inlet. They're coming out a little bit slow, but they've got it just going fast enough to get that bow pointed up in the air and hopefully keep them from stuffing the bow. I mean, this is a pretty big boat. They are taking a pounding as they try and run through the bar section, but overall, they look pretty good, and it looks like they're probably going to make it out and be one of our first boats to make it out successfully today, and that's going to give them a win for the boats here in this round. And that'll take us into our fourth round, and we'll play one of my favorite games, Can She Hang On? Here we're going to see this vessel running out, and for whatever reason to me, this just does not look like a good idea on a day like today. The crew's making their way out, but... Once again, as we talked about earlier, sitting here on the rails in a rough day like this is a terrible idea. Now, there's not a whole lot of options here. There are handles for these guys to grab onto on this vessel, but it just seems like they probably should have life jackets on or something just to be safe. But the crew is going to start working their way out, and you can tell it's rough. They are taking a pounding, and our young lady here in the vessel is doing everything she absolutely can to try and make sure the boats get a win in this round. She's hanging on as much as she can. She's even repositioning herself to try and give herself a little bit more leverage and get a better grasp on everything, and they're going to come out of the section and it looks like this vessel's probably going to make it out and she's going to hang on and they're going to take a win for the boats here in the fourth round. That'll take us into our fifth and final round, tied it to a piece. Who will take the win this week? Will it be Boca or the boat? And we're going to see a bow rider come rolling through in the fifth and final round. No, not a bow rider boat, but somebody who's actually decided to ride in the bow, which is a pretty bad idea on a rough day like today and she immediately pays for it. Oh man, she's looking back at Captain like, what the heck is this? I was coming out here, thought I was going to lay out, relax, get some sun and chill and I'm getting wet before we even get out of the inlet. 
She definitely didn't look happy about that one with the stare down she gave back to the captain. He's probably going to hear about that one for a few weeks. And it looks like our captain's going to go ahead and try and do a Boca U-turn here. And you can tell right here, he's kind of in the washing machine of this right now. And it is big out today. These waves are pretty good size and everybody's been struggling. And my man's going to get that U-turn pulled off and start heading back into the inlet. But man, he called it close to the rocks on that U-turn as well. That was a pretty dangerous U-turn. But they're going to make it and they'll start making their way back into Lake Boca where it'll be a little bit calmer and they can enjoy that nice relaxing day out on the water unfortunately though with the u-turn that's going to give the boats the loss here in the fifth and final round and that's going to give the boats the loss in this episode thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this episode of boats versus haul over if you enjoyed the content please check out our other channels we have wavy boats who gets us all these great images down at boca inlet and haul over inlet my channel broncos guru we do some great comedy boating videos over there as well and of course we've got the miami boat ramps channel that focuses on all the hilarity that happens at the boat ramps in south florida and if you guys haven't already go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here